Hey all, good evening and welcome to another session with me, Varun, on Tech Tablet. And in this session, we would be looking at what is machine learning. And we'll just understand how is machine learning becoming so important. Why is this language gaining so importance all of a sudden? Why is this technology or, you know, why is this concept becoming so important nowadays? We'll understand that. So welcome to another session with me, Varun. And as you all know me, I was a developer and I moved or I started with SAP ABAP, app, moved on into UI5, moved on into creating a YouTube channel and then also uh, followed my passion, which is creating a YouTube channel on rap. Uh, so I started uh, creating a YouTube uh, channel on which I started posting my own uh, content, uh, you know, my own songs. And then I finally became a data science developer and currently I'm working as a data science trainer and an artist. The most important thing here or the agenda of this session is we would be understanding what is machine learning, the types of machine learning that we have available, what are the advantages and disadvantages of machine learning, how does it work and finally the use cases. Now, to talk about what is machine learning guys, as we all know, this language, it focuses on uh, development of programs that can learn the information and can process information by themselves from the next time. And currently this language or, you know, this concept has, is already being used in a lot of fields and industries. For example, medical diagnosis, image processing or prediction, classification problems, association problems, regression problems. You have almost all of them written here. Now, the iterative aspect of machine learning is very, very important because based on machine learning, you would be able to understand how things work. You would be able to get a complete analysis of your data set. You would be able to uh, see how your system works in different cases. You would be able to analyze basic things very easily with the introduction of machine learning. Machine learning has a lot of concepts or machine learning can further be subdivided into supervised learning, unsupervised learning, which can again be further subdivided into regression and classification and time series so guys there is like you know as of now where if someone says that this is the limit to machine learning then i think you can doubt that statement without any hesitation because machine learning or deep learning they've just begun it, it would be very wrong to uh, to say at least at this moment that we've reached the zenith or we've lead, reached the maximum part of it now as we were talking machine learning is divided into three parts or into three uh, types that is supervised, unsupervised, and reinforced learning. Supervised is where you have regression and classification. In classification, you have logistic regression, you have decision trees, you have random forest, you have naive base, you have support vector machine. Oh my God, you have a whole range of classification problem. And talking about regression, you have linear regression, you have different types of linear regression models available. Now, this is a very simple or this is a structure that might give you a bit of understanding about what is machine learning and how it works right in machine learning you have supervised learning you have unsupervised learning and you have reinforcement learning now in unsupervised you have dimensionality reduction and you have clustering in supervised you have classification and regression as we've just seen in this slide above so here we've just seen in class in supervised which is this you have classification and you have regression models. That's exactly what I'm trying to show, uh, show things to you here. You have unsupervised, you have supervised, and you have reinforced. Now, if you look at supervised learning, you see that you have classification and regression in which we have problems like image classification or probably customer retention or advertising popularity prediction or you know, things like that. Then in unsupervised learning you have dimensionality reduction and you have clustering then you have reinforced learning in which you have real-time decisions or, 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 or robo navigation or artificial intelligent games skill acquisition you have customer segmentation recommender systems guys you have a whole lot of uh, uh, you know problem statements or you have a whole lot of projects which we are using currently that can be used or that can be done or that can be achieved using unsupervised, supervised and reinforced uh, learning of data science, 
right guys or of machine learning now when we talk about machine learning and uh, when we talk about r or python as a language and when we talk about deep learning there's a lot of people who get confused between machine learning concepts of machine learning and data science and python language so guys python or r as a platform or as a language they use concepts of machine learning and deep learning so r and python are languages through which you would be able to work on machine learning problem statements or on machine learning concepts right now when you talk about machine learning it is not the application of hardcore formula or it is not the application of hardcore coding it's a combination of co coding and knowledge on statistics and knowledge of mathematics as well you would have to understand the problem statement and that is when you would be able to understand which algorithm to choose for which particular problem because every algorithm is designed for one specific purpose right now talking about the advantages and disadvantages of machine learning it easily identifies trends and patterns which is one of the biggest advantages or which has created one of the biggest breakthrough in the fields of machine learning there is no human intervention that is needed in machine learning once you have given the system what is the input and how it's got to function there is always a continuous improvement that your machine learning code or that your machine learning algorithm can be subjected to and it's also great in handling multi dimensional and a multi variant variety of data and as we all know or as we are already able to see or we are able to experience in the current world machine learning can be used in a wide range of applications you can name applications right from facebook to twitter to insta to snapchat to google i don't know to uh, ola uber any of these applications which you've downloaded probably in the last one or two years they use good concepts of machine learning and now that we've spoken the advantages all the while and as i always say any language which has an advantage does not go away without a disadvantage we all know that and the disadvantages are it can be used for data acquisition it can be used by you know uh, it, it, you know it's it, it, you know when you talk about time and resources there are very less resources available right now interpretation is not easy not every person who has just completed 10th or who's just a graduate can understand what is the output or what is it, is the result trying to say and then there is high error susceptibility you cannot rule out that every machine learning algorithm that you work on is error free that is something that you cannot guarantee guys so these are the advantages and disadvantages that you should know when you talk about machine learning and finally how does it work there are a, a sequence of steps that happen and these steps somehow do not change as far as basic machine learning is concerned you have data collection then you have data preparation you have training you have evaluation and finally you have fine tuning when you talk about data collection you try to acquire your data from different sources it could be a csv file or it could be a basic excel file or a txt file or a tab separated tsv file there are different types of files that you have after this you prepare your data that is you uh, kind of give clean the data you remove the columns add the columns you kind of ensure that your data set is ready for machine learning right now after this you train the data set on an algorithm that you want to uh, you know check out for for example if i want to use an algorithm of logistic regression i will train my model on logistic regressions algorithm and then i would fit it and uh, you know check it out on my testing model and then i would apply a test it could be accuracy or it could be rmse or it could be uh, you know we have hell lot of tests that it could be t test z z test or you have hell lot of tests that could you could you know check for so i would then evaluate my model and based on the result you know if my accuracy is great then i wouldn't be doing anything but then if my accuracy let's say is less and if i sense that there is a scope of development then i would go into fine tuning wherein i might use uh, you know parameter optimization techniques or i might use some other fine tuning techniques to ensure that my model is fine tuned and i have a better accuracy because of which i uh, would see that my system would perform better so this is a small uh, image of the same you train your data 
then you train the machine learning uh, you know with the machine learning algorithm then you model the input then you uh, send it further for predictions if it is a perfect one then it's a successful model and if it is not then you again train the model you give your input uh, and then you again go give it for prediction and then your system gives you a result if it is good if it is a successful model and if it is not you retest it so that's how it works guys and we all know that there are a wide range of applications or sectors if you have availability of data science in manufacturing sector retail sector healthcare life sciences travel hospitality financial services energy feedstock and and utilities and i think these are just a few these are just a few there are a hell lot of services that you have available i would suggest please pause the video for a second and just check out what are the different uh, applications that each of the segment uses so that you have an idea about you know what are the different uh, industries and what are the different sectors or segments where data science or machine learning can be used right thanks a lot for your patience guys i really hope you understood and i also hope that this video has helped you a bit and if it did please hit the like button and also share this with your friends if you feel that this might be useful at least for a few right in the previous videos we've already covered concepts like what is scala what is sas what is tableau and you know blah blah in the videos to come above we would be looking at what is deep learning concepts of machine learning different algorithms that is machine that that's linear regression logistic regression regression tree and etc so do stay tuned do stay sub, sub, uh, subscribed as there is a lot of videos yet to be released and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us have a great day this is me varun rao signing off and all the best for the interview that you're about to take up for.